a new video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a set of nails that is heavily inspired by the image that I'm going to put on the screen right now. That one, I love it. So I've got um, Old Habits Healing Glam Vitamin C and Pop the Champagne colours from Madame Glam. You can save 30% using my code NATMUG30. Um, I'm going to start by creating an ombre. I fell in love with this set of nails. I just, the colour combination for these nails, I just fell in love with. And I'm not going to do the animal print, we're just going to do the leaves on this set. So that's why I've said inspired because it's not it's not exactly the same but it is quite similar so yeah it's not a it's not a complete recreation you know what i mean anyway right i've added the pink and the kind of purpley pink and then i've added the dark purple and then i'm gonna add the vitamin c i wasn't sure if she had i don't even know if i really needed that dark purple I'm not even sure, but I added the vitamin C and then I, I was thinking, has she used a darker blue? And I don't think she did, but I grabbed Ready Set Ski and I shoved that in there as well. Like a tiny little stripe. That's literally, because these darker colours, you have to, when you ombre them, they just take up so much of the nail. So I thought, right, we'll just put on a small strip. And then using Madame Glam's ombre brush, you've seen me ombre before. I, I always prefer the brush. I, I have tried the sponge method but I find that with the sponge, I get lots of bits of hair in my nails and I don't like it, you know, in the gel polish. So maybe I just have hairy sponges. <laughs> anyway, I'm just blending the colours together. When I move from one colour kind of to the next, I will usually wipe my brush between a lint-free wipe, as you can see what I'm doing here, because if I went from the pink, I don't know, sometimes you can work from the top and just work away all the way down to the bottom but I think it depends on the colour combination you've chosen so to play it safe because of the colours I've chosen I kept wiping my brush clean um, doing that though it does take obviously some of the gel polish off the nail so but don't worry about that really because we are going to do two coats anyway and these gel polishes are really pigmented so it didn't really it doesn't make a difference but um, I'm going to do this one now now for the second coat I, for two of the nails, I left the blue, the dark blue off and I only used the purple. And for one of the nails, I left the blue on just to see what it looked like. See, so look, you can see how much of that darker colour has taken up the nail now. Um, the third ombre I'm going to do is the same colours but backwards. So the top will be the turquoise colour. Is it turquoise? It's not really turquoise, is it? But that, that kind of blue. So... Yeah, they're going to go in the lamp. This is me telling you I'm going to do an ombre on this nail, but the blue's going to be at the top and the pink's going to be at the bottom. And then I'm just going to do a second coat on these two. That's what I was telling you there. There we go. So this is what they're looking like after two coats. I'm going to wipe off. It's not a perfect blend, but I didn't think it would be. But there we go. No, I'm not going to do that yet. So I've got High Tide Wisteria and Aquadisiac Glitters from Nail Sugar. These two are matte. And the other one is hollow. Now, ignore that this is hollow because I'm going to matte top coat them. Please don't come at me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can leave them shiny, but I like these. These are, these are matte because hers were matte. Um, so I've got some base coat there. What I'm going to do is before I put the glitter on, I'm going to wipe the tacky layer off with some isopropyl alcohol. I actually, it might be gel cleanse. It's in my pot. I can't remember. But you see how much pigment looks left on the nails from that tacky layer. And sometimes that can kind of cover up the, it can kind of hinder the glitter. I'm not sure if that, I think that's the right word. I've used it in a previous video, but yeah, I, I, I'll have to, one day I will show you what I mean by that. But for now, um, I'm going to go over the nail with Madame Glam's application brush with a very, very thin coat of base coat. This doesn't have to be thick. I find that if I put base coat on top of gel polish, gel polish is supposed to go on top of base coat, but I usually put base coat because I can cure the glitter into place. But sometimes what you will find is if you put too much on, then the base coat will, what's the word? It kind of separates. Um what's the word like you put it on and you'll see it start to oh i can't think of the word but it makes like it oh, i can't think of the word it's gonna bug, bug me anyway right for this nail what i've done is right, right on all the nails when i put the glitter on 
what I'm going to do is, is if there's pink then I'm going to start with the turquoise glitter then I'm going to go for that darker blue glitter then I'm going to go down to the lilac -y wisteria glitter on the blue so we're kind of working the opposite way with the glitter because when we matte top coat these gl um metallic glitter matte top coated just looks stunning you'll know what I mean at the end <laughs> but it looks really really nice and it really makes the colors pop like here you can't I find that because they're so shiny you can't really it, they just look kind of dark do you know what I mean unless the light hits them and then they go kind of shiny but when they're matte up coated the colors really pop so on this nail I decided that I was gonna do a um like a a little cluster of glitters in this top right hand corner and then I was going to repeat the kind of glitter cluster in the bottom no this is left the top left hand corner right and then in the bottom was going to be the bottom right but because the bottom like narrows down because they're like stiletto tips I kind of just make the cluster I put it on at kind of an angle do you see like so the angle follows the angle of the top one do you know what i mean i think you'll know what i mean and again because the bottom is um i can't remember what i've done here i can't even see very well i did add some lilac down the bottom but i think i used a lot more of the the blue glitters at the bottom because it was very pinky So I'm just going to as well, because I thought like these were, the glitter was a little bit too high up the nail. So I'm just bringing it down a little bit before I cure it. And then once I am happy with that, I will pop that one into the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. I'm using Madame Glam's Elio lamp, by the way. Some people ask me what lamp I use. Um, and then this last nail, I thought, you know what? We're just going to do like a whole nail of glitter, but it's not going to be like full coverage. We're just going to do like a, sc a scattering but the whole nail so again i've started with the blues at the top i start with the aquadisiac glitter at the top i think or did i put the i don't even know anyway look that's covered fully i'm going to pop that in the lamp and then what i'm going to do is because we've added glitter and i want to draw on these i want to make the nails smooth so i'm going to go over with a layer of base coat that's going to help smooth the nail out and then I'm going to go over with a layer of the Little Pink's matte top coat once I've cured the base coat. You could use, instead of base coat, you could use a thin layer of builder gel, but you might just need to file and buff the nail if you've, you know, just to make it, you know, not look bumpy or anything. Um, but I'm not going to do that on these because they turn out all right in the end. Look, see? Ta-da! Can you see what I mean by the colour pop-in? Oh, love it! So this is where we're at. I am going to do another nail, by the way. I do a nail of the lilac -y pink, which is Healing Glam. I do a full nail of that. I was only going to do three nails, but I decided that I needed to have four for what I wanted to show you. Um, if I was going to do another nail, I would do just a plain colour on that nail as well. So we're adding the detail now. I love these kind of leaves. I know I, I think I've probably done them quite a lot last summer. I just feel like they are like a really good kind of if someone wants nail art but they don't know what they want i just feel like i don't feel like these are too difficult either i think yeah they're quite so all it is is like a line and then you do the little leaves coming off the line now you can give the leaves coming off the line more of a stalk and it will kind of take up more space on the nail but these ones I've done so that they are pretty much coming straight off of the stem, not the stalk, the stem. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if that is called a stem on a leaf, on a, on a, I can't even, you'd think I'd remember the names of leaves that I create because I probably said it like last year. Oh, I don't know what you call this leaf shape, but I'm sure probably several of you commented saying that's a blah, 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 blah. And, and I, yeah, I just, I forget these things. Anyway, look, I've done two lots of those. And then I'm also going to add, she had on hers some little, little like berries. I don't know what this was here. It took me a little while. I had to think a bit then what I was going to do. And, and then I thought, just go with it. Just, 
I've done a little curve line and then I added some little like berries on and I'm going to do the same on that one and <clears throat> I've got a tickly throat <clears throat> I'm going to add some berries down here as well just a few and some up here as well not as much as the previous bunch of berries but just a few and then yeah some up here as well and then I'm going to repeat this on one of the other nails but I do the leaves going in the other direction so that's going to go in the lamp because I've used the gel paint oh by the way I'm using Madden Glam's gel paint and you can work on top of finished like top coated nails but you need to make sure you cure them for 60 seconds because they're very pigmented so the crystals that I'm using are from Crystal Parade these are Preciosa I want to say Navets these ones they're tiny but I love them they used to do these but they probably still have them actually big ones um these are no they're Navets what are the other ones then Marquise I can't remember the shape of them the name of the shape and then I've got some round AB crystals as well they're preciosa and then I've got these like sticks and these little charms I don't know what you want to call them um and I'm using Rachel Wilder's crystal fix see look I've done a full nail of that that kind of pinky lilac because I like this color um on the top I'm adding one of the preciosa navettes I'm gonna just flash cure that then I'm gonna add a little line a quite thin line um if you're gonna do this on a client Add the crystals first and then top coat because you can butt the top coat up to the crystals and it just gives them a little bit more extra security um but because I i'm just going to do this straight on top of the matte top coat because i like to live dangerously um i'm going to add these smaller i can't think of the blooming shape let me just have a look because it's going to bug me um where have i put them now <laughs> there they are they are called oh rhombus they're little rhombus, they are. <clears throat> so look, I've added three on. So I, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm kind of, I'm trying to recreate the pattern that we've done, but with crystals. So here I've just added a little, um, one of those curved metal charms to be the stem of our berries or stalk stem, whatever. And I've added some round little crystals to be the berries. I added a few at the top as well. I'm gonna wipe the, the crystals over with isopropyl alcohol to get rid of any fingerprints. And you can save 10% by the way on Crystal Parade using code NATMUG10 and nail sugar on the glitters using code NATMUG10 as well. Look, and that's them finished. I'll show you a close up. There we go. I hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free but once you've subscribed that's it you're in the group you can't leave you have to stay forever i'm gonna leave um nails by eym.k a on the link below as well so god bless love you all and i'll see you all in the next one love you bye don't know what that was